Hi all. Uh, this is this is the video tutorial for uh, um, demonstrating how do we integrate uh, the LinkedIn REST API with iOS application. Um, so uh, basically, I, I the reason why I have started this uh, uh, what mainly because I was wondering okay how do we uh, actually able to uh, post some comments in the LinkedIn as well as Facebook, Twitter, so. Um, uh, that's the starting point of this tutorial okay so as I saw that a couple of tutorials are there for the Facebook Twitter like that but uh, I don't see much uh, tutorials are there for uh, LinkedIn integration in iOS um, so um, uh, just give a brief about what are all the prerequisites needed for this uh, integration in iOS so basically uh, as you can see right uh, um, uh, there is a LinkedIn portal where uh, uh, developer.linkedin.com where you can see that uh, it's it's the home page for the developers so who wish to uh, integrate the LinkedIn in the application so basically here you can see that there is my app sections is there so uh, i wish uh, um, I, I would suggest that those who are interested in integrating right they have to uh, log in with their linkedin account and in the my apps right they have to register their application so that once you register uh, basically once you configure our linkedin application uh, then you would be getting a client IT as well as client uh, uh, secret code which is much needed in order to consume the LinkedIn Rust API. Uh, at the same time, uh, you need to set up some um, uh, authorized redirect URLs as the you know, Facebook um, Facebook Graph API is using the same thing like uh, authorization redirect. So once you have this uh, uh, prerequisite, that is uh, once you registered your application and once you have the client ID and the client secret, right? Uh, we are good to uh, integrate a uh, um, LinkedIn API with uh, uh, our application. Uh, so basically LinkedIn how it works is that basically um, like all other apps right LinkedIn also uh, um, you would be having a, a email as well as a password which is uh, associated with your LinkedIn account so uh, once you have given your credentials right uh, um, and that is the username and the password uh, um, the API there are some uh, APIs uh, which is there uh, which provides the access token access token is more like an OAuth 2.0 access token and uh, once you have this OAuth access token and then uh, you can able to play around with the LinkedIn like a uh, posting uh, um, um, posting the comments uh, to your connections or you can post the comments to uh, um, anyone okay anyone in the sense the visibility of the uh, sharing the content can be connection solely as well as to the um anyone so the first uh, first thing actually in order to get the access token right uh, uh, linkedin how its uh, api works is that here you can see that uh, https www.linkedin.com uas auth 2.0 authorization here you have to pass the uh, response type the client id the redirect url the scope and the state so uh, the client ID, as I mentioned, right, once you register your application, you would be registering or configuring your application with a redirect URL. And once you have successfully registered the LinkedIn, and that is the My Apps portal, right, one which is highlighted here, uh, it gives you a client ID and a client secret code, which you should be shared with anyone. So once you have that, I have that uh, once you loaded this information so this request in a web view uh, you would be authorized a page something like this like uh, um, would like to access um, the, the application would like to access some of the information so like uh, the profile email or share content or something like that and um, from here right we have to um, authorize this applications um, by entering the email ID as well as the password associated with your uh, LinkedIn account and once you authorized your application is approved then um, 
uh, in return you would be getting a code as well as state information and with that two information right we um, we post uh, um, post a second request that is uh, linkedin.com uh, uas auth to access token this particular request actually returns the access token token which we can use it for uh, um, um, further communication with the linkedin like posting the comments viewing the public profile or uh, viewing the email id something like that and for this second request the basic two main two parameters are the client id the client secret code and the code which we got it in the first request so uh, that's it so once you um, have this uh, successfully you posted this http request which is a post type and once you have it successfully then uh, you will get the access token um, the linkedin access token is of a 60 days life span so um, yeah uh, that's all the brief about uh, how to configure the application so next is um, uh, here you can see that uh, I have created a sample project and uh, inside the sample project I have a um, um, I have created a JSON file because it has a lot of um, client client ID the client secret code and the username password many things are there as it is a video tutorial I don't want to expose this to a public forum so I just kept all the information in a json file uh, json file and um, you can also do the same thing so basically here you can see that the first time in the application is loaded i, I am storing the access token in the ns user defaults and um, uh, what exactly here it's doing is uh, um, yes what exactly here it's doing is that i am checking whether the already this application has got the access token or not because the linkedin access token is of a 60 days validity if there is no access token i am basically actually i am uh, calling the first uh, first request which actually authorizes the applications like uh, um, auth to authorization uh, where you can see that at the authorization I am passing various parameters like a response type, the client ID, redirect everything and uh, um, that everything I am loading in a web view. So here I am running the application. So I already pre-filled the um, my email, um, email ID, the password, everything I have uh, uh, injected into the web view and here you can see that your profile overview the access your email address share or comment the company pages so basically um, this particular pages once i sign in and allow once i click on it actually uh, i am authorizing that this application can access or uh, can um, push a comment on behalf of me so here you can see that uh, i am basically putting a uh, breakpoint yeah so I am checking whether this particular request is the actual request which I am looking that is the first request if if I have got the code and the state uh, which I have mentioned here right uh, here I was mentioning if the act application got a successfully approved if the user has a successfully authorized we will get a code that is the auth 2.0 authorization code and the state value okay and once I have these two information so, so basically I would be requesting the second request that is the request to get the access token so that's what you can see it here you can see the code I am passing redirect the client ID the client secret which all informations I am reading it from the JSON file and the second request I am putting in a um, NS, uh, um, um, NS URL connection and I have got the access token so uh, once uh, this application has successfully got the access token uh, then it is uh, taken to a next screen that is the share LinkedIn view controller and here I am saying that hi I am testing 
LinkedIn API. And I'm clicking on the share button. And you can see that uh, um, in, uh, in the response, if it is uh, successfully posted, I have got a URL where I can go directly here, paste it. See, the comments have been successfully posted here. And uh, this is something which um, I just publish um, this comment to connections only and if you want to um, expose it to uh, everyone and there is an options where uh, uh, I can show you that in the second request so, right um, I can show that there is a document where uh, it explains everything okay yeah this is the one so this is the post or request uh, api which is used to uh, publish the comment to the linkedin and the same thing i have used it so here right basically the visibility actually i mentioned that connections only instead of here right if i put as anyone then the comment which i am posting here right it uh, that can be visible to um, anyone it may not be not necessary that uh, the particular user needs to be in my connection okay so uh, this is the first round and the i am relaunching the application again so here right the first time itself the share view controller has been loaded successfully because already the access token has been um, stored inside the application that is the reason actually um, you know, on this share view controller it's uh, loaded because the linkedin access token has a 60 day validity and we don't need to authenticate that particular user again and again until the access token got expired so test api you can see that the company has been successfully posted in LinkedIn so, okay that's it so uh, I would be further posting um, videos about the Facebook SDK integration as well as Twitter fabric SDK integration so I hope that uh, you guys would have uh, like this video tutorial and uh, i believe that actually you would have uh, this video tutorial have some uh, level of value in your ios application development let me know your feedback appreciate it thank you